Hello and welcome back once again to Mommy's Hub. My name is Choma. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. And please remember to subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. I will appreciate if you also share my videos and also like my videos. Today I'm going to be making plantain and sausage skewers or kebabs. I got this recipe from one of us here on YouTube. So keep on watching if you want to know where I got it because I made some modifications in mine. And it will be very nice if you go over to her own channel to see how she made hers. This is a lovely recipe for children. They are going to enjoy it. Also, I have two more recipes at the end which I used the leftovers from what I did here to make up some recipes. For me, my leftovers can never go to waste. So I have two more recipes at the end that you can make and that is something for the kids and also for you as well. So please keep on watching and if you haven't subscribed to Mommy Sion, please do click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell too. Here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I have plantain. I'm using ripe plantain. Don't allow it to be too ripe. I have eggs, frankfurter sausages, which I'm using. I have my spices. You can use any spice that you like. I've got thyme here. I've got paprika. I've got a all-purpose seasoning and some ginger. My cornmeal here, which makes a kebab crunchy. If you don't have cornmeal, you can use breadcrumbs or you can also use crushed cornflakes. I have my beans flour here and I have a video of how I make my beans flour to be very, very soft and fine. Beans is a very rich source of protein, so that's why I'm adding it to a kebab just to make it more nutritious for our kids. I have my baking powder here and I'm also going to be using a little bit of baking soda which I didn't show here and then I've got my skewers I'm going to soak it in water for 30 minutes so because we are going to fry this so I want it to soak in water so that it doesn't get too, too dry or get spawning when we are going to fry our kebabs I'm going to start by cutting my plantain. So I'm going to cut it half lengthwise first. And then I'm going to cut it into half again. Dice into cubes. So just make sure that you are dicing it into cubes that the chopsticks can fit into without breaking the plantain because the plantain is ripe and because it's quite ripe, it's quite easy to break up. We cut some into small fingers just to see how it will come out on its own with this. So I've got my two plantains here, the one cut in cubes for the skewers or for the kebabs and then the one for the fingers. Cutting my sausages. I'm trying to cut it to be almost like the same size with my plantain so it's just like um, one inch yeah just... and then I'm taking the skewers out of the water and drying them up after that we are going to arrange our kebabs on it so I'm putting my plantain first and then I'm going to put the sausage and then another plantain so it's just about alternating them you understand it you know how to make kebabs so you can make this like this or you can act, you can put double plantain one kebab depending on your price. i try to remove the pointed end because i feel it's a risk to kids but it's up to you if you're making it for bigger kids you can leave it it's just optional that's just me You can also use toothpicks. I have some which I skewered on toothpicks and I think they came out really nice too. The babs are all skewered now and I'm going to go into the next step which is to make the butter. I'm going to break the eggs into a bowl. Add half of the spices to it. Then 
I'm adding my beans flour. I tried using beans flour in this because beans is a good source of protein and that is giving your child more nutrition as they are eating these lovely kebab sticks. If you don't have beans flour, you can still use regular flour. I added some milk, baking powder, baking soda, and then whisked it together. At this point, you can see the beans is looking more smooth than when I started. I actually left it to rest for a while and that helped it. I'm pouring it into a tall glass. That's where we are going to be dipping our skewers in to make it easy for us. And then I've got my cornmeal. I'm putting the rest of the seasoning in the cornmeal. If you notice, I didn't put salt in this recipe because sausages are really salty, so there's no need to add salt again. But if you want to add salt, it's up to you, but salt is really not good for kids. So the less you add to their food, the better. So I'm going to be dipping the kebab sticks into the beans butter first, roll it in my corn flour. I'm trying as much as possible to cover it well. And once that is done, I'll set it aside and then do the rest. I hope you are enjoying this recipe and this video. If you are doing so, please don't forget to give me a like. Please click the like button below. Also subscribe if you haven't done so. So here are my kebabs all ready to be fried in my oil. I'm going to test it to be sure it's hot enough. And yes, it is. Add a little bit at a time. Don't try and crowd your frying pan because when you crowd the frying pan, it's not going to fry well. It might turn out soggy. So I'm just putting three in here to fry at this time. And then after this, I'm going to fry the rest. Fry until golden brown. Don't forget to stir while you're frying it so that they will all brown evenly. And then once it's done, scoop it out and then put it in a paper towel to dry up or soak up the oil first before serving. So quickly fry the rest. I've still got my plantain fingers which I cut. What I did with it was to pour my beans butter into it and then roll it in my cornmeal. Fry it and then you get a very nutritious snack for the kids because it's got protein and carbohydrate in one. You can add some vegetables while serving it. So I added cucumbers to this. And for the remaining butter, I made a pancake for myself. Yes, it's not only the kids that will be enjoying some yumminess. And however, I must confess, I ate the kebabs. They are so lovely. If you if you haven't made it, please try this recipe. Tell me how it comes out. You will be surprised at how lovely this is. Your children will keep asking for more. And also, go down to Taste and Bloom. Go to Yasmin's site. The link is down there in my description box. And watch her own version of this kebab because that is where I got this recipe from. Thank you, Yasmin, for this beautiful recipe. Please go to Yasmin's recipe or go to Yasmin's YouTube because she's got lovely things there too for your babies and kids. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next one. Bye. 